Hey guys, Tennessee Yankee, welcome back to the channel. Hey, today we're going to be working on making some crappy gas cans great again. Gas can hacks 3.0. If you follow the channel, you may have seen some of my other videos uh, where I was working with the no spill gas cans. Um, I've since kind of went to this style. Um, I like the no spill gas cans. I still use them for like one or two gallon size. Um, but for my five gallons, uh, what I found is ever since I switched over to using my pump. So I use this pump now to fill everything. Uh, it's just easy, convenient. Um, I don't really need to worry about the no spill spouts. In fact, we're going to take this spout that's in here, trash it, get rid of it. Um, so I'll show you guys how I make these nice Midwest cans user-friendly for my application. Um, stay tuned. All right, guys. So I picked these cans up at uh, Tractor Supply. And how they work is, like most gas cans, they have a built-in spout. I think this is... Uh, actually intended to be a no spill spout so in general i like this style can this midwest can and mostly i just like it because it's i like the shape of it it's got this handle this handle it's sturdy um one things i found one thing i found with the bigger no spill cans is it was amazing how much they would expand and contract um with heat and gas i haven't really seen these do that this style can so, like I said, I switched over to this style mainly for my five gallons just because I like the smaller thing that's easy to get on and off. I found that with some of the larger um, no-spill cans, they would easily misthread themselves. Um, and I've been using one of these cans for a, a whole summer and I haven't had any problem with it. So, one of the things I'm going to do with these two new ones I got is basically turn them into a, a good version so first thing we got to do is get rid of this stupid epa compliant crap that they put on here so i just usually take my pliers here we'll snip this guy we'll snip this guy here dykes work nice for this and then usually that's going to leave maybe a little sharp piece there. So what I'll do with this is I'll just take my lighter to it a little bit. And I'll just get rid of any sharp burr that's on there. And then the next thing we're going to do is this spout. Put it in the trash. Don't care about it. But I still need this part here, obviously, so it doesn't leak. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to cut this to a shorter piece. So that way when I have it filled with gas, this isn't getting all full of gas. So when I pull this out, you know, I got gas dripping and things. So I'm just going to shorten this up. And I'm just going to take some PVC cutters that I got here. They seem to work pretty well for this. Inside here, there's a little spring. We got to get rid of this thing. All right. So now what we're left with is this little piece. And then what I'm going to do is I will apply some, a ring of silicone to the inside. And then I'll just let this sit under the vise with some pressure on it, and that'll make a nice seal on there. I'll show you what I already did. So here's my can I was using all last summer. So same kind of setup. That's really firm in there, so this you won't lose this thing when you take it on and off. Okay, so the last thing we gotta do is get rid of this insert. This insert's the worst. So, what I find is when I'm filling this, this wants to falsely kick out the pump all the time. And then what I've also seen is then the gas is coming out there 
pretty furiously, it uh, wants to shoot back and kind of spit back out and kind of bounce off of that uh, that screen. So we're getting rid of that. A lot of times, I'll just get it started with my needle nose or a pliers and just kind of deform it enough and kind of get in there with it. And then once I get in there, then I'll just continue to twist it and shrink it. And kind of pull it out. Pull it out that way. Now let me get another grip on it. There we go. Almost. Be careful it doesn't drop back in. trickiest part getting this out. If you work at it enough, you're going to get it. Oh, come on, it's hard. Just a bugger. But hey, here it comes. So that's stupid. So the first reason we need to get rid of this stupid thing is because the whole reason behind me using these cans is I use my pump with them. And you can't put a pump in there with that screen in there. And you can see how nicely this fits in this Midwest can uh, with, the, with the pump. And that reaches all the way back to the back corner so you get every bit of gas out of there. So now, look at we got a can that we can actually work with. It's a beautiful thing. And that's why I said this is why I want to run that silicone in there so we don't lose this cap. So we'll silicone that in. And then it'll just be a joy now. Every time we need to get gas, we'll have ourselves finally a good can to use again. All right, so I mentioned silicone in this. I just like to use like one of these little Loctite ones that's always ready to go here through a glove on and I'm just going to apply some by hand to the inside here. Seems the easiest way to do it. It's nice having these little containers versus the big tubes sometimes for small jobs. All right, so I got a nice little bead around the inside. We'll get rid of this glove. Now what we'll do is I'll just stick this in here, get a good fit. If you kind of see the silicone starting to squeeze out a little bit. Then I'm just going to go put this under some weight. I'm going to set this in my vise. So it's only sitting on the black part and then I'll stick a brick on top here. There you have it. So we'll just let that cook for a few hours, set that silicone, and we'll be ready to go. Okay, so my step for getting this thing out is first I try to get behind it a little bit with my needle nose. Sometimes it breaks real easy, other times I can get in there. I don't want to deform the spout too much. Now that one came out pretty easy. Sometimes they're a real bugger like the last one, but you saw how quick that was. Hey guys, Tennessee Yankee. Thanks for watching. If you found this content helpful, go ahead and hit that subscribe button on your right. 
I have other content linked for you on the left side. Otherwise, we'll see you next time. Thanks again for watching.